All right, I'm back guys. I showed you how I made a uh, short splice earlier. And so now I'm gonna talk to you guys about doing a um, back splice. Um, has some other names out there that I'm not gonna use on my channel, but uh, starts out with a crown knot. And um, I'm gonna show you what I did. It works really good for like, you could use it to keep the end of your line from fraying. Um, it also provides a, a handhold. So there's various reasons you could use it. Um, it takes a little bit of effort. Sometimes it looks nice. Um, I've even seen people make a real simple bell pull using a back splice. So I'll show you how I teach how to do a back splice. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna lay a little bit more than I normally would for maybe like a short splice or an eye splice. Cause I wanna have a little bit of um, length to this. So what I'm gonna do is Open it up, um, and remember this is a, a right lay line, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go counterclockwise, and it really doesn't matter where you start, um, in my opinion, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna lay it over the top of this strand here. I'm gonna lay it over to this one, and then I'm gonna have this little gap right here. I'm gonna take my last one, and I'm just gonna place it right through there. And you're gonna have your start of a crown knot. And I'm gonna just suck it down. I usually like to hold it like this, right? I'll grip it like this and I'll just start pulling down gently. You can make this splice extend if you pull really hard. So you wanna avoid pulling um, a lot real hard or you're just gonna keep making it go further and further and further. And all the while, I'm just giving it some twist back into its natural, or into the lay, right? So now I should have something that looks like this, right? Kind of looks like a, a diamond shape, if you can see that. Um, and it's not particularly tight, but I'm gonna solve that once I actually start tucking. So again, these are laying in the direction that they wanna go. I wanna go over this strand and under the next one. So I'm gonna just open this up. If you need a fit or a, sometimes I've even used a Sharpie, you could do that. And again, it's unlaying a little bit, but I'm gonna take care of that in a minute. So I'm gonna to come to my next one. It's gonna go over this strand right here and under this next strand right here. Okay, again, a little messy, a little sloppy, not too worried about it right now. I'm gonna take this last strand and come over this one and under here. And now I've completed my marriage. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of time to dress it up, make it a little nicer, right? I'm gonna twist my strands back into their lay, right? And I'm just gonna snug down just a tiny bit. I like to use my fingers like this and I kind of pull with the back of my hand just so I don't pull too tight and I snug these down, okay? And then when I also set it in there, um, I will bring it back up. So, so what I like to do is just bring it, not really hard, I'm not pulling really hard, but just set it up, bring it back, keep it twisted, set it up. Now it's pretty simple. Now I'm just going to continue um, tucking, right? And twisting, make sure I stay in my lay. And it'll come out real nice. It may look sloppy depending on the kind of line you're using. If you're using uh, that military grade nylon, sometimes that stuff just immediately unlays and there's not a whole lot you can do to get it back unless you wanna seize it every couple of inches. All right, so now you can start to see taking the shape, right? You don't wanna put any weird twists in this, okay? Again, with this uh, natural fiber, I only need about three tucks in it. And this is pretty large line. So you can notice that it looks a little, still a little wonky up here, right? So now I'm gonna give these all a twist. Right? And it's gonna flatten out. I'm gonna pull a little bit of extra out of these, right? 
Give them a little bit of extra love, not too much again. Okay. And let's see here for this one right here. I just want to give it a little more, bring it down a little bit. Sometimes this doesn't come out perfect every single time. So you got to work on it and give it a little love, make sure it's how you want it to be. Okay. Again, this is one of those ones where I can't push it together. I don't, I mean, I don't have any really huge um, gaps in it. I can roll it out. I can do a number of things now. Again, I can cut it off. I could add some tape. I could do whippings. I've seen people that have enough tails that they'll put like a walnut on there, All right? But that's a nice, that's a nice uh, back splice, right? Could provide you a hand. You could taper them. You could leave. Again, I'm not a big fan of leaving uh, plastic electrical tape on there because it can cause rot. It traps moisture. That's what it's designed to do is to keep water out or in. So um, again, just a real simple way to put an ending or a handle or just increase the size of your line um, at the end of a uh, splice. So cool. Thank you guys. And uh, next video up will be the uh, ice splice.